Welcome back. We have Bankroll Billy in the building. What's up, man? What up with your bit out? All right. So let everybody know where you where you from, bro. Man, I'm from Alabama. I'm from Louisville. But you know, I jumped out the porch in Abbeville, Alabama, a little small town. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got much shit going on. A lot of money down there, motherfucker, though, but that's about it. We just, I'm from Abbeville, though. Okay. So, I know you're a music artist. Hmm. For those who don't know you, how you got into it? Oh, uh, shit. The music, I can't cuss, can I? You good. Okay, shit, that music, like, I want to say I wrote my first, I wrote my first freestyle when I was like, goddamn, shit, I was about like in the fifth grade or whatever. And shit, I always like, when I got like in middle school, I got a homeboy named um, Chapatino. He do he do music and videos and shit. <coughs> so when I got, um, I linked with him in middle school when I moved back down from North Carolina. And shit, I would go in his little studio, but back then, we thinking that shit was hard, but the quality was ass, you know what I'm saying? But, I was spinning that shit with him though. And shit, I ever since then I always just be in and out of the studio. I just would never drop shit, but I would just get that shit together. And then like like six months ago, I just like I called all my folks up, like that I fuck with. I was like, hey bro, I'm finna drop some shit. They thought I was bullshit. And I dropped and shit. Here we are. Okay, you said fifth grade, right? Well, I wrote my first freestyle. And how old you is now? Twenty-eight. What took you so long? You said six months, you like I really wanna do it. So what what kind of took you a little minute? Excuse me, my words messed up. What was the issue for you coming out earlier? Man, look, man, to be real, I was just shy. Like, <laughs> like, see, I'm really like somebody to my people, you know what I'm saying? So like, I ain't want to drop nothing and that shit be lame. And then everything I done did just get washed away with like, Oh, that's, that's, that's Trey Lane, man. That bankroll Lane, man. Like, so I just had to, like, make sure I knew for a fact that shit was something I would listen to before I went to drop that shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to just drop anything. Okay. Mm-hmm. So how was your life growing up, like your childhood? Uh, shit, man, it was just, it was pretty regular for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't grow up, we, where I'm from, the city I'm from, man, that shit ain't, like, no hood, hood, it's more country than hood, but like, shit, just regular, you know what I'm saying? Little nigga running around, getting in trouble, bad as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with the little, you know what I'm saying? With the little hoes or whatever, just, you know what I'm saying? Then shit, I just put my mind to get some money. Around the time I turned like 14, kind of put all that bad shit down, like, hey man, let me see how I can get down. I'm running around getting hot, doing all this hot shit with my homeboy. Shit, let me see how we can get down, how we can get some money, so. After I kind of jumped to that, I put all that little hot shit down and got down, you know what I'm saying? What you did to get, to get money? Mm. Uh, shit. <laughs> Man, you got me spilling my goddamn water. Uh, shit, bro, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur? Right. Yeah. What kind of business you invested in to really be successful? Lawn service. Lawn service. Lawn service? Yeah. What made you get into that? Uh, I just like grass. Okay. So you said you start messing with the honeys as well, like you're in a relationship or you- oh, I'm in a relationship right now, okay. I am. Before the relationship, was you a wild child or you more? Oh uh, shit, before, before my relationship, shit. I was just finding myself, bro. I was just finding myself, fucking with different folks. Okay, you know, so you was- I was mingling. I'm uh, what the hoe be saying? I was outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you were just finding yourself. Yo, man, yo, just finding myself. Were you finding yourself a lot or just outside, outside? Ah, man. shit, man. See, I'm going to tell you something, though, man. I'm going to tell you something. I ain't just the type of nigga that just uh, hit anything. So if I'm fucking with you, you got to be like, I ain't just fucking anybody or fucking with anybody. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, I, I ain't going to say I was just... Outside, outside, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Even I got two kids, so I was in a relationship with my own, with my baby mama, so I, I ain't have a chance to be just outside, outside. You see what I'm saying? I'll be like, I'm some relationship. You gotta, you, you gotta really like somebody to really mingle with them, mingle with them. Yeah, like, 
I'm a friendly person, so I get along with everybody, but for you to just really get my time and shit, like you got to like, you know what I'm saying? I got to fuck with you. That that's anybody like. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, what is your aspects on relationships? Like it's different terms. It's different types. It's poly monogamous where you just you and her, nobody uh, else. Or you have some who have open relationships. Okay. So the open shit dead. <laughs> I ain't no open shit going on. The the poly shit, that's that's like some weirdo shit. If I'm like my thing is if I'm fucking with you, I'm fucking with you, you need to fuck with me. I, we ain't got the show. If we got the show, then we don't need to be together. So you like I ain't want two women? No, nah, man, cause goddamn, bro, that two periods every month, that two attitude, that two birthdays. You know what I'm saying? I ain't nobody trying about man. Look, I love it's my old lady though. now. Huh? It's for breasts though. Yeah, man, but shit, I settled with the two and let's hit eight. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's hard keeping up with one woman and I'm finna just, hell no. Nah. Then, okay. bro, I might fuck around. My luck so bad, I might fuck around and get both of them pregnant at the same time type shit. Oh, we ain't <laughs> fucking with that. We ain't fucking with that. <laughs> true, true, true. So back to the music, man. What um, type of music do you do? I make trap music. Like, I make hustler music. Like, how these, these niggas, I ain't knocking no type of music, but all this drill shit and shit, man, they done took like the aspect of getting money. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I bring that back, like a real trap shit. Like how you felt when, when you listen to Gucci Mane or when you listen to goddamn OJ or Gotti, the old Gotti, Dolph, like that's tight, that's the line on me. Okay, I ain't really heard none of your music. You mind if you, can you can you say some, on some bars for me a little Spit bit? a few bars. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say I spit that shit like 87 bar Chevy, try and put that shit together. Plug on my line heavy, try and put a brick together. She was a little broke bitch till I put the bitch together. Hit it with the baking soda, bet it come back thick as ever. Hoes gonna be hoes, Jack. Go and get your money first. I was selling Kush bag, my partner then was selling perk. Yeah, yeah. Okay, some little okay. Shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And where, where we can go find her at? Oh, you can find me on Apple Music, Bankroll, Billy. You can find me on Spotify, Bankroll Billy. You can find me on YouTube, Bankroll Billy. Anywhere, just Bankroll Billy. Everything okay, Bankroll I'm going to make sure to put all them links in the description. Mm -hmm. So if you like what you heard, just go ahead and tap the description and hit you a link. Don't forget to follow my boy. Yeah. So what's your inspiration for music, bro? Oh, uh, shit. Like, I ain't going to lie. Right. So... I'm 28, so when Jesus first dropped, I was young, right? But I seen like the, I caught the ass in of like what he did. Yeah. And I was seeing like, when I heard Jesus, that shit blew my mind. You know what I'm saying? My cousin and my uncle, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying everybody fucking with Jesus and he talking dope boy shit. Like the way he talking, I you would think this nigga was posted up with on that, cause they what they doing for real. So like, that's my biggest inspiration, Jesus, then R.I.P. Dolph. I really like, I fell in love with Dolph because Jesus was like, even though I like Jesus, that was kind of before my time. That's you know around what I'm my saying? time, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Huh? I said, that's around my yeah. time. Yeah, that kind of before yeah. my time. But see, Dolph was, came in when I was active. And you know what I'm saying? And he rapping about shit like that I got going on and shit like that. So Dolph, big T.I. fan, fuck with T.I. Well, I don't know, the new shit he be on be kind of weird, but Old T.I., big T.I. fan, okay. you know what I'm saying? I went over like, yeah, just anybody try O.J. the Juice, man. Then I, um, I hey. fuck with One Way Walk, too, from Dothan. From one Way? Yeah, I fuck yeah. with One Way. Like, One Way. Like, I'm going to tell you something. When One Way, because I've, I've been seeing them. Like, we don't know. We ain't got no personal relationship or nothing. But I've been seeing them just in passing and shit. And, like, he be popping his shit. And then when he jumped up and was like, he finna do the ride shit, and I watched him, and I watched him do that shit. I was like, man, shit, I want to fuck with it too. Like, on some real, like, damn, bro, goddamn. Yo, bro, yeah. really popping that shit and doing that shit. He so, do. So, yeah, I fuck with Watt. So, Watt, if you see this, I want to get one in with you. you. You know how to hit me. We got the same, like, mutual homeboys and shit. So, yeah. he know how to get up with me. Oh, so he a cool cat, man. Yeah. He love working with people. Every time I see that nigga, man, every time I see that nigga, man, he laid back, popping it, though. Popping it, though. Yeah. Like, popping it, like, for real. Yo, that nigga really popping it. Like, really, yo. I fuck with Walt, though. I fuck with Ann nigga getting money, though. Like, Ann nigga that 
get money ain't on that lame shit, that bullshit. I fuck with everybody there. What's the lame shit? Oh, uh, man, lame shit. To me, lame shit, like, falling out by these hoes. Well, I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, if we all, we all get money, and we all in this, in this little playing field, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, certain shit just come with the territory. So, like, if I got a bag and you got a bag, man, it be gonna fall. Both of us ain't no need to fall out about her. You know what I'm saying? What about like, if you're main, though? Oh, see, that's the thing, though. Like, if I fuck with you, or we fuck with each other, then you shouldn't ever fuck with my main. Like, you know, that shouldn't even cross your mind. But a nigga that don't fuck with you, bro, she got to get that pussy up. Like, nigga, you can't get mad at a nigga that don't fuck with you for doing something to you, like nigga don't even know you, you know what I'm saying? So okay. if a girl, if if you got a woman that's fucking off, it ain't even worth goddamn. She ain't yours. Yeah, yeah, it ain't even worth falling out with nobody about like, uh, so that's something lame. Like then like, uh, yeah, to me, yeah, I like people that be they self. Like I fuck with street niggas, I fuck with nerds, I fuck with who people consider lame. I, I fuck with everybody, but I fuck with who they self though, you know what I'm saying? So don't come around me and because you see the tight shit I'm on, now you on that tight shit. If that ain't you, that ain't you. And I respect that. And I'm gonna fuck with you on what I fuck with you on. So I just, that's how I be like keeping shit going, man. I just, so pretty much, lame to you is people who ain't, who ain't true to themselves. Right, right, like. And easily influenced. Yeah, like, like don't be, don't be one way here and then another way there. Or like, don't let, like did me right here. I'm to the point where like, if I believe in something, or I stand on that. Shit, I might be dead to the wrong, but I'ma stand on that though. Like don't let, you can't change my mind, whatever. You get what I'm saying? So don't let other folks change how you view certain shit. Cause they're lame, you know what I'm saying? Like. If you know something, like do it. Like if you this way, be like that. Like you know what I'm saying? That, that's Don't just change that. up, cause, cause, cause Fred, Fred said it's cool, so you think it's cool. Too. Yeah, so now it's cool. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, nah, hell no, nah, bro. I tell my homeboy all the time. They they know we'll fall out. Nah, bro, I ain't with that shit. Uh, no. Bro, I ain't doing that shit. Like I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas got going on. I ain't with that shit. Okay. Hey, yeah. So. You kind of answer one of the questions, who you like in the city, you say one way, why? One way. Oh, I like more people from the city, though. Okay, who, who else you like, you see, you uh, like, okay, they doing great. I like one way, why? Yeah. Uh, I fuck with Coop. Yeah. Uh, he got the young nigga going crazy. He turned, Coop That's turned. Uh, I fuck with, I don't know if you heard him, but uh, Mr. Fantastic. He from Cloud. Man, fantastic. look, that's my partner, yeah. partner, that's my partner. Yeah, but man, look, shit. man, bro been popping it since high school, just like that. Like, yeah, yeah that nigga hard, bro. Look, I'm gonna be real, and I hope he don't take that no kind of way, but that like the most underrated nigga from here, cause that nigga hard, bars and everything. That nigga hard, uh, my little cousin them, my little mm. scamming ass cousin them on uh, Nico mm -hmm. and Lil Ned, you know what I'm saying? Sco. Yeah. And they, yeah, I fought with um, I fought with them, got down, who up, bro? Uh Shit, I got down. I got some. I, hold on, look though. I got some little niggas from the Ville. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put on, but I ain't gonna just get into their names yet, cause little bad ass niggas. So we gonna got down, get them in the. But yeah, I got some. On. Man, I got. A, I, man, look, I fuck with the city, like you know what I'm saying. I fuck with really everything, bro. As long yeah. as like you know what I'm saying, I fuck with everything. So yeah, but them just like offhand. Like if I left somebody out on cyber, but them just offhand. Off the who I'm fucking with, like who okay. moving and grooving out here, who I'm fucking with, yeah. Okay, I feel that. Mm. So man, what's your next direction to go as an artist? Oh uh, shit, man, I'm just. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I like I told you, I started taking this shit serious like six months ago. So. Mm -hmm. I'm just to the point where like the shit kind of happened fast with how I'm moving, but I'm but I'm still humble because I want to be like bigger than the city. So goddamn right now, man, I'm just I'm locking in. You know what I'm saying? I'm investing. I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm getting better. Like I went from when I recorded my I got a mixtape I dropped when I recorded that mixtape. It's called Trap Ain't Dead. Yeah. With me record the recording process with that was. I go to the studio once every three, four months. Man, now I'm in that motherfucker like goddamn shit three days out of week, two days out of week. I'm in the studio, I'm critiquing, I'm experimenting. Who you working with? Uh, Pyrex, that's my motherfucking part. That's who I left out about the artist. Pyrex, goddamn. That's my engineer, my, my big brother, manager, 
everything, bro. Where he Pirate. located at? He in Cloud. Uh, he in Cloud. Got down. He got the studio. Uh, I forgot the name. I don't want to say the wrong name. Okay. I don't want to say the wrong name. But yeah, that's my brother. Pirates, Kevin Turner on Facebook. You need studio time. Man, quality, on point, everything, man. And got down. He real professional with that shit. But yeah, yeah. That that's who I love for on artists, man. That nigga hard too. That nigga hard too. You mentioned early you got kids. Yeah, two. I got two kids. Two kids. A, 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 I'm a boy and a girl. Uh, two boys. Two boys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do they hinder in your in your I don't want to say vision, but in your your work ethic? No, the baby mamas hinder the work ethic. <laughs> the mamas do that. The kids though, they with it. Like, man, look, man, my older little boy, he sell them or whatever. Yeah. So goddamn, I just be riding just to see. You know what I'm saying? So we be riding, I just play some of my shit. You feel me? My little boy be like, Daddy, that's you, ain't it? And he be turnt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my um, my youngest little boy, he just not finna be two. Christmas Eve, so goddamn. What? Okay. Yeah, he just he finna be two. So he don't really be, you know what I'm saying? But he don't really be with that, you know what I'm saying? So but I be I be wanna like I be like I done got comfortable with it, so I be wanna have my kids in the studio and shit and just yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let them see that shit or whatever. So, yeah, that's finna come. Cause I done kind of got comfortable with this shit a little bit. Okay. Let's fast forward. Let's say you blow. Mm -hmm. Now, we're we gonna say I do blow. Let's say you yeah. do blow. Yeah. When I do. Let's say you blow. You mm -hmm. already done. Success is the charting on the charts, top five. What, who in the in the industry now that you would want to collab with? You got any options? Man, you know every you know what every nigga gonna Except say. Except for Drake. Oh no, nah, I ain't. I ain't okay. with that light skin shit. You know what every nigga gonna say. Oh wait, you don't fuck with Drake? Uh, I mean, bro, I just like I be so much on like some. I be so much on like Jay, Jay my 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 trap music artist. But if I had to fuck with anybody, it's gonna be baby. Like I'm gonna well, tell baby. you something. Lil Baby. Everybody Lil Baby. Fuck with Lil Baby. And I'ma tell you something, bro. Because I know, you know what I'm saying? I know you know how you know what you're looking at. So yeah. I know that that nigga like us. You feel me? And then he show it. And he ain't changed up to be on top of none of that. So I just know like, bro, I probably, man, when I blow up, bro, baby probably gonna be just my personal partner, like my, my homeboy. Cause that yeah. nigga just really like, I can see that nigga in the hood with a shoe dice or Got down, Jay. You know what I'm saying? He just yeah. like a regular nigga, and he ain't did too much to be there. And he don't even be fanned out and shit. And he be reaching back and fucking with these new niggas too, man. Like baby, True. really? Yeah, that nigga the goat for real. So if I was in it, if I, I ain't gonna say ill. We gonna say when, when I blow, I'm fucking with baby. And I ain't gonna lie, I fuck, I fuck with baby. Oh, ESTG too. ESTG. So you ain't gonna fuck with Drake? Nah, I mean, look, anything for that paper now. You know what I'm saying? You know, a Drake feature, that's all you need to go through, though. And I fuck with certain music here, but that ain't just my top, goddamn. So you don't, you don't want to be like, do your thing, Tori? <laughs> no, man, no, 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 no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> Bang roll, can you do something for me? No, we don't need, <laughs> we don't need that. I think that's a feature we can do without me. <laughs> I think that's one we can do without right now, man. But oh, yeah, man. nah, I ain't saying any hard. I ain't take away from him. But no, that just no, ain't no. My, it just yeah, that just ain't my top. Drake to um, he a character, bro. Yeah, but I mean, look though, this the thing get me with with Drake. Nigga can really rap. Yo, who he fine? Let me yeah, tell you, man. with Drake, me personally, I don't. Know, you watch anime? No, nah, man, I okay. ain't gonna lie. Dragon Ball Z, the furthest I got, man. What I was Naruto? a bad ass nigga, any bro. Naruto? Nah, I, ain't. I look, right. man, I was it's a bad ass. It's nigga, a dude. Man. On that right, he can copy your moves, right? Just right. by looking at you. Oh, you trying to say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Drake. Drake put Drake these niggas on the track, you. steal the swag, <laughs> run with that for a little minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He yeah. do it. But Drake, very talented, because not many people can do that and still make it relevant and, and make it theirs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know bro, that's, I mean, like, he an artist. That's artist. Yeah. Like, and I want to. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I told you, I'm just getting comfortable. Hell, I wanna expand my artistry. Like, yeah. I wanna like explore and do different shit. I don't wanna just make goddamn trap music. Like that's what that's what I'm that's my main thing. But shit, I wanna grow. If you ain't growing, you ain't doing that, man. So right. yeah, I wanna grow man, with this shit. So 
I'm like you see me like that now, but shit, six months later, I might be, I might be on one of them Drake features, or you know what I'm saying? I might be with it. So I'm just telling you from where I'm at right now with shit. From you know what I'm saying? From my standpoint right now, like at the moment. Okay, bank. I hear you. In the next six months, I want you to come back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think you your swag I like, you, and your rhymes I like. You know? I'm, I want to hear more, though. I want you to drop more. I want you to network more. Yeah. And come, and come back to the red room, man. See, that be like, with five. that networking, that was my biggest thing. Like, okay, I, um, I opened up for Big Homie G, right? He had a showdown out here. Hold on, oh, I was wait, I was shooting it, wasn't I? Probably so. It was yeah, like, hell oh, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, you were, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So I had on um, opened up for Big Homie G, and got down. My partner set it up. Shout out to Print Game with that my partner. He the one got me my yeah. first show, my first first show. He called me when I dropped the tape. But anyway, yeah, shout out Prince Gamble. But I was opening up for Big Homie G, so I'm telling Big Homie G like, you know, what I'm saying everybody taking a picture. So shit, I see everybody crying, the nigga, and I don't want to be like, bro, I rap yeah. too. I ain't no, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't, ain't starstruck by nobody. Hell, I'm a star. You feel me? So I ain't starstruck by nobody. I don't look at nobody like that. So goddamn, I go shake bro hand. When I shake his hand, I go to um. I go to like, hey, bro, I want to get a picture with you. They're like, bet. I like, but I'm going to let you. It was some women in the way. I'm going to let you take the picture with the women or whatever. So he was like, all right, you know what I'm saying, bet. So when the women cleared out, I, I like, hell yeah, bro, I want to um, take a picture with you for publicity. I know when I post this, it's going to go up. He like, I'm saying you taking a picture with me for publicity. I like, yeah. He like, I don't want to take the picture then. I like, well, shit, bet. I, don't, I ain't pressed by the nigga not taking a picture. So then I had holiday at Prince and, you know what I'm saying, my account. And they were just like, bro, you just. Just don't do no more talking. That basically what they was on. Yeah. Like, bro, we gonna talk for you because you know I'm still like, I'm still, you know, I'm still learning this shit. So I ain't knowing that I said nothing wrong to that man. Like, I ain't knowing that it came off like that. You know what I'm saying? So they're yeah. pretty much saying, I, like, I don't, I, I think he took yeah. like, I don't fuck with you. I just want to take a picture with you. Exactly. And I ain't wasn't saying it like that. That's where it come off. Yeah, yeah. Just think about it like this. Let's say. Let's say you popping, mm -hmm. and I reach out to you and say, bro, I want you to come. Imagine I'm an artist, and I say, I want to do, do, do a song with you, and I say, the only reason I want to do a song with you is just to get attention. Yeah, yeah, and then, see, that's the thing, bro. So I wasn't looking at it like that. I'm looking at it like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I fuck with your music, and then I, I'm, I'm rapping. You a rapper. You up, though. I'm climbing up. We take the picture together. They're going to... You know what I'm saying? But I ain't thinking that, no, nah, bro. I ain't tell. He might not even see this shit, but I ain't that I don't fuck with him because shit, we we fucking with Big Homie G. I just had got down. Yeah. I just had handled that part wrong. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah, so yeah. And then I'm a real nigga too. So, bro, if I step on your shoes, I apologize. We got down. You know what I'm saying? If I fuck up, I fucked up. Like I don't be on that. No. Nah, so yeah, I just fucked up with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I wish I could got down. Holler at him and tell him now, bro. Everyone. It wasn't no shit like that, bro. Pretty much, bro. Especially, I've seen some artists in that spotlight, like coming up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And once an artist, anybody, once you in that climbing of attention, oh. in a viral moment, like you going, they going, you gonna have dudes wanting to be around, be on, yeah. boy. You gonna have women just wanting to suck you up just to say, I suck that yeah. person up. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Not because they fuck with you, but only because, because yeah. they can say, so she can say, I suck that dick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, kind of sense, as when you in that light, you are taught to anybody who come with that type of energy, uh-uh. Yeah, so I, that's why I said I feel, I feel it because, you know what I'm saying, like, like now, that, now that I'm kind of budding a little more, like, should I have niggas in my like Instagram and shit that like I ain't never talked to, but I, I signed or whatever. So now they in my shit sending me their music saying, oh, point me to the right direction and shit. Not like I fuck with you, they ain't share, nah. uh, they ain't share a pose, they ain't say I'm she fucking saying? with, but yeah, so that's so that what I'm saying. So that's why I said I just kind of, I ain't understand that aspect of like, you know what I'm saying, bro, I'm fresh out from doing whatever I'm doing and goddamn rocking, like it, it just happened too fast, so I'm still using like, 
my my street mindset, like like put a nigga on type shit. I'm still using that mindset when I should have been on some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Let me let I should just say, bro. Let me get a picture with you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure he might see this, man. Yeah, I hope he do, man, and got down, yeah. reach out, and you know what I'm saying. On some shit like, bro, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that yeah. like that. That nigga probably don't remember that shit, bro. Think about it, nigga. You'd be surprised. That nigga turned. Like, that nigga you, probably ain't remembering you, that shit. You'd be surprised, bro. He Try probably be on some shit like, oh, shit. I do remember once. He, he probably, that nigga, yeah. man, man, probably. Well, I don't know. He had her thought about it because I followed him on Instagram. The very next day that nigga posted, do you, nigga said he want to take a picture with him for publicity. I told him, no, nah, was I wrong? So he think about it, too. So we both, I think we both looking at it from. You know what I'm saying? From the angle. Oh, that was about you? Yeah, yeah. Cause I did I didn't know no better, bro. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't know no better. So yeah. So yeah. But you know what I'm saying? If he if he was to see this, then got down, uh, he'll he'll understand like, okay, that nigga went on no shit like that. So you for that misunderstanding, you apologize for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the I ain't bro, I ain't no I ain't the tether nigga in the world. I ain't on no poking my chest out shit, bro. No, nah, bro. Like, bro, I fuck up, I fuck up. Like, I ain't out to beef with no nigga, bro. Too much money out there, motherfucker. I'm not trying to beef with nobody, bro. I'm trying to get to the bag. So, that nigga already got the bag. You feel me? That the nigga I need to be goddamn hollering at, bro. I ain't gonna let pride get in the way or what could potentially be a bag for me. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? These niggas be having a game for those shit like that, bro. That's things. Mm. That what wrong with the game now, bro. These young niggas let pride get in the way and. Treat, treat they stuff out the bag. So for the younger ones who might might be watching this, mm -hmm. any advice to give them? Ah uh, shit, man. Like my number one thing is just stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused and like just don't let no bullshit get in your way. Like if you're a young nigga, you want to do something, bro. I'm like, with us being from a small city, it seemed down there impossible to be a movie star, or to be in the NBA, or to be in the NFL, or the rap, or the sign. It seemed down there impossible. Man, don't let nobody shoot your dream down, bro. If you think you can do that shit, put in the work and do that shit, bro. That's it, just stay consistent, stay prayed up. And got down, you know what I'm saying? That shit gonna fall through, bro. Everything gonna happen. Whatever meant to happen for you, gonna happen. I'm a firm believer in that. If shit meant to happen, it ain't gonna go no other way. You know what I'm saying? What's for you is for you. What for you is for you. Nobody can't take it. Oh, what for you is for you, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with that being said, that's Bankroll Billy. This your boy CD5, and we out.